It's a wonderful way to start a Sunday morning on this beautiful second week of Advent. Finally getting his hair cut. Right, there's Miss Cam. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'll be looking all right for my senior pictures uh, Tuesday. All right, that was one of the most amazing tours I've ever ever been on it. Going to Nashville, then to Baltimore. Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. My name is Jill and this is It's the Donnellys. If you are new to the channel, this video might be a little bit confusing for you. Let me sort of lay the foundation so you understand a little bit more as you go through. So I am the mom, I have a husband Mike, and we have three children, Brennan, Katie, and Ryan. Brennan and Katie are in college right now in Florida, and Ryan is in high school in Florida. We just moved to Florida from Maryland about two years ago. I go back and forth between Maryland and Florida because I'm a flight attendant and I fly out of Baltimore, Maryland, and I live in Florida. And Mike goes back and forth too. The kids pretty much stay in Florida for the most part. Anyway, during this video specifically, I'm flying um, a three-day trip and I'm you'll find me in Philadelphia and then flying back to Baltimore. Mike and Ryan, our youngest, are still in Florida and he goes and gets his hair cut. So the video goes back and forth a little bit, but I think you'll understand. So thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy it. The church bells are ringing, ladies and gentlemen. Mass is beginning. I'm getting there. Philadelphia. It is just starting to rain right now, which is kind of a bummer because this is the day that we have to tour Philly. But so far, my day has been spectacular. I woke up and went to Mass at this most beautiful church. And I'm going to probably not say it right. The Basilica of St. Peter's and Paul. I'm not sure which saints. It is absolutely spectacular. I just couldn't get enough. After Mass, I stayed for about another half an hour just walking through this church. And uh, it is it's beautiful. And the homily was great. It's a wonderful way to start a Sunday morning on this beautiful second week of Advent. And I'm going to go back to the hotel now. And see, one of uh, my flight attendant friends, Kim, wanted to do some touring. So we'll see if she's ready to tour. If she's not, then I'm just going to hang out at the hotel until 11 30-ish when Maureen and Kathy are going to come over and we're going to go grab brunch. So I'm looking forward to a great day. I did not bring an umbrella, but I do have a hood on my coat. So hopefully that'll be enough. There's supposed to be torrential downpours. And apparently today there are a lot of flight delays. Apparently Florida is already closed this morning for weather. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get home or back to Baltimore today or even home back to Florida tomorrow. We'll see. Stay tuned. Every time we come back to the hotel, you can hear. You hear that Christmas music? Every time I'm in and out, it sounds so great and it's so Christmassy on this nice heater, too. <laughs> it's not even that cold here today. Obviously, it's raining. I think it's like in the 50s. All right, so you mind me on the block? Yeah. All right, there's Miss Kim. Hi. So we are at the Liberty Bell right now. She's very excited. Never been here before. I haven't been here in like 15 years, so I'm sure it looks the same. But I just want to double check. Oh, look at Liberty Bell. Center right there. It's a part of the National Park Service. 
a good picture. We think that is Independence Hall. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. And this is such a cool, cool place. You know, it's like, it's like the real thing because it actually is. And it's so funny that there's like buildings behind it, but this is so historic and amazing. It reminds me of Liberty Square at um, Magic Kingdom, but this is the real deal. It is a quite nice day out here if the rain could just hold off a bit. And there's the Constitution Center way in there. We're waiting to go in to see the Liberty Bell because we want to finish our coffee. And I'm going to take a couple pictures. John Adams wrote, The bells rang all day and all night. Perhaps the State House bell rang with all the others on that important day, too. For the pay It is so pretty. Independence Hall from the back side. We're trying to figure out how to get in. Um, every place we walk by says no entry point, but I think they need to take us into like through security. So they said Fifth and Chestnut, so we're trying to find Fifth and Chestnut. But that Liberty Bell, I gotta tell you, Kim, uh, impressions on the Liberty Bell? Amazing. <laughs> uh, it was so short that I was expecting it to be really tall. <laughs> Definitely took my breath away. We turned a corner and didn't realize it was going to be right there. And wow, it was awesome. I'll share some pictures with you guys. Well, you saw some video, but maybe I'll put some pictures in. Oh, there's some Ben Franklin stuff. We're in Independence Hall right now. Alright, that was one of the most amazing tours I've ever ever been on it was 20 minutes but that guy was absolutely amazing yeah. talking about the first continental congress in philadelphia it was so great i cannot wait to bring the family back here so amazing but now we're even kathy are picking us up i'm very happy today very happy big day because uh, ryan yeah. finally getting his hair cut very excited Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> it is Ryan Ardo. There he is getting his hair cut. So I'm very pleased. It's a beautiful kid. It's... Do you mind if I video you? No, go ahead. Okay. He's uh, got it going. It's like he's getting his senior picture ticket on Tuesday. So. Did you like it now? Or do you like it? It's a big deal. You're beautiful, baby. You're beautiful. <laughs> All right, Ryan's got it going. There's the beautiful kid that he is. Come on. Look at him. Every Could you time. That? Uh, All right. We're just getting done. We're going to the your friendly neighborhood bar. What was her name again? Them. I can't remember. Alyssa. Alyssa. You've got Alyssa. I got Stacy. Great clips. Gets the job done. Right. Plus, I get a lollipop. What's not to love? <laughs> I'll be looking all right for my senior pictures uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, that's Tuesday. awesome. Yeah, stay so tuned. Cool. Um, I'm thinking one of them where I'm on water skis and I hit a ramp and I jump over a shark. <laughs> I like that. Like the Fonz. Right. Right. Like you jumping the shark. Like I'm jumping the shark. I think I might. I think I might do that. <laughs> uh, might be one on the golf course. Right, swinging for your golf club with you. Right. Should be fun. No. Awesome. Well, we'll see what we do, but I love it. Bye. We came out to the Christmas market. It's a little rainy, but not too bad. Which, by the way, the rain is keeping people.
play. <laughs> so we just went through the most wonderful German little market through there. I'm gonna go back in because there's a few things I wanna get. They have ornaments and tapestries and all kinds of beautiful things. And look at this, this is Belgian chocolate made in Germany. I'm like, it says chocolate on it. You guys look, it's like, <laughs> How cool is that? Like, so cool. And my friend Sierra joined us. If you guys remember Sierra from training and Kim came up from a nap. Very good. I went to lunch with my college friends and then came back and I saw Sierra in the lab, in the lobby, which is the best thing I ever. Know. It was, I loved That's it. so fun. Oh, I heard yes. someone go, is that Jill? And I'm like, yeah. Yes. And Sierra's out of Denver. So like across the country, being a flight attendant is the best thing ever. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, absolutely. Best thing ever. Absolutely. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, you guys, we got these waffles. These are like the mm. kind of waffles you eat when you're skiing. Mm -hmm. Belgian waffles with Nutella. Everybody happy? Oh my God, Their right. first time eating them. Mm-hmm. So good. Oh, did your fork? Yes. Oh my gosh, my fork melted. Did your fork? Oh my, it, it did too. Look. You guys look at my fork. Wait, hold on. Whoops. <laughs> well, one more bite, then I'm done. Oh no, keep going. Keep going. So good. Mm-hmm. Now we found a double-decker carousel. We are in the middle, like there's like a courtyard here of the Philadelphia City Hall. I don't know if you guys can really see what's going on here. There's some bratwurst. The village just keeps going on. This is like the third little area that we've come to see. We are um, pretty excited about it. That's <laughs> okay. It's all good. <laughs> Pretty excited about our Philly overnight. This has been amazing. And finally, now there is a Christmas pop-up tiki bar. This is so cute. The fire pit. There's fire. Oh my gosh! Look, they've got fire pits over here. That is so fun. It was an awesome day in Philly. Much better than I anticipated. Not that I didn't think it was going to be a good day, but it was just so much better. So much fun. So I'm dressed and ready to go. We have a 6.35 lobby time, and I think we take off at like 7.45 or something tonight, going to Nashville, then to Baltimore. All right, you guys, we are on our last leg, going from Nashville to Baltimore. And we don't have very many um, passengers, but there's only 11 passengers on this right now. So they almost have a private jet. Get ready to close the door, and we're out.